Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby Crawford. I just got back from school. I had a little dance practice too. So I didn't get home until four o'clock. It is now 422. And yeah, I'm gonna start my after school slash nighttime routine. I feel like I'm screaming right now. I don't know. I'm like going deaf. My ears just popped and I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. My ears just popped. Ah. Ooh, ow. Okay. I can hear a little bit better now, but now I can hear a little too much. I don't know what's happening. I was on a trip a couple weeks ago and I still haven't been able to hear the same since. I don't know what's going on. Also, I have a little surprise for you. I got my permit guys, finally, I know, the day has come. I turned 16 in August and I still haven't got my permit, but I, well, I have it now. But yeah, now I can drive and then when I turn 17 in August, I can finally get my license. Pretty much, I'm gonna take you along with me driving today. We're gonna start off and go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. This isn't like my every night routine. This is just like my routine when I'm productive and awesome. Pretty much do a little yoga do a little meditation become center with myself and become mindful etc 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 now it is time to get ready to go to the gym okay time to do a quick little outfit change okay this is my outfit i'm wearing this i think it's from lululemon i don't know it's my mom's i'm wearing just gonna take my pants off real quick these shorts from amazon i'm just throwing on my sweatpants i also just picked my skin so that's nice okay I literally want to get every single one of these Summer Fridays lip things because they taste so yummy. And they make your lips look so juicy. Basically, I'm wearing the same outfit I was just wearing. I've also never driven with my mom before. So you guys will finally be seeing me drive now with someone over the age of 21 in the car. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Are you here? Okay. Okay, just got to get my headphones locked and loaded. I'm just going on the stairs. Maybe I shouldn't vlog and walk. Big fart! Hey, fart! Ah! ah. Wait, can I drive? Mom, yes. Mom! You don't want to drive with me. I wait knuckle. I'll make you nervous and help. No, but I drove with that so many times in this car. She basically hates me, so she's trying to say so. Anyone wants to adopt me, it's fine. She's all yours. I'm going to the gym now. I'll drive on the way home because my dad's picking me up and he clearly loves me more. <laughs> I think I'm doing legs and some cardio, maybe dance a little bit, but I kind of just want to watch Gossip Girl, so I'll probably walk on the Stairmaster or treadmill and watch Gossip Girl. All right, I just went on the Stairmaster for a little bit and then I did a little ab workout and now I'm up in the dance room because I want to stretch and dance, but I think someone else is coming in here to teach a boxing class, so I might not be able to do he drove <clears throat> he drove mom's car because he knew <laughs> just throw my the ground and basically help them build the pick started making songs. chain you know like at cost like you know, well okay. just try not to bump into anything i'm going this way no let's go slower slower I am. no 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 that's not no no that is not how fast you back you back how out. do am i supposed you to go tap much it? slower than that no no, no. well you have to yes. give it a little bit of gas and then cut back at the end so that way now cut back cut back yes cut back cut back What's wrong? What's wrong, actually? I'm stuck on my first page of homework and I've been here for like five hours. Oh no! No, actually like ten hours straight. Okay, you need to take them out and enough of that. What do, what's wrong? How, what do you need help with? Wait, okay, set up. I'm trying to help you set up. Mom made a yummy, healthy dinner. I almost parked your car in one pull-in, but then I was apparently too close to the one car next to me, but I had enough room to get out, but then dad was like, no, we park. Just because you have enough room to get out doesn't mean that it's like a good, um... I don't know. You okay, bud? 
Jake, you okay? I'm going. All right, all right, all right. I'm home and I have a big pile of laundry. Oh, so we are going to be putting it away. <coughs> You're welcome, Emily, if you're watching this. I'm finally putting the laundry away. I'm finally doing it. I'm waiting for the sauna to heat up right now, so I think I'm gonna do a little quick yoga. This is literally all Megan's laundry. Oh, happy 2024, by the way, guys. I will be doing like a full 2024 reset video, but as of now, this is the New Year's vibe video you're getting because I wanted to give you guys like a full in-depth New Year's resolution vision board, and I want it to be a good video and not be rushed, so stay tuned. Okay, before anyone comes at me or anything for doing anything wrong, I am not perfect at this. I just feel very good after burning incense or doing anything like that. And I know there are people that are actually experts at this. I don't do this a lot, but I do want to start incorporating it more into my 2024 and become more spiritual and feel more mindful and happy and present, grateful. I think I'm going to look up like a healing yoga or meditation or something and do yoga with it. Something along those lines. Something I do know is that setting good intentions whilst doing this is very good for your soul. Okay, so I just finished a little bit of yoga and now I'm going to journal for a little bit. Now that my vibration, oh man, there's something in my eye. Now that my vibrations are high, I am high energy. I'm going to pour that all into my journal, set some manifestations. I just got this journal can't really see it. it has a tree on it and it's my manifesting journal and everything that is in this journal has come true and will come true so i'm like really bending down right now but i always start out my journal with your universe and then things that i'm grateful for things that i'm grateful for in the future that will come to me and stuff like that I'm about to get in the sauna. I'm just gonna listen probably to the Mindset Mentor podcast. I just got out of the sauna and I'm sweating and I'm dripping and I'm gross. You know what that means? Time for a shot. Oh god, I just realized I didn't put any oil in my hair. Today's a hair wash day. Clearly, it's really gross right now. Normally on hair wash days, I like to spray a little bit of this rosemary and rice water into my roots. And I leave it in for about 15, 20 minutes, but I might just leave it in for about five minutes right now because hopefully that does something. Also, my hair looks extra gross right now because it had hair wax in it from when it was slick earlier. So don't think I'm actually this greasy. I just like to spray this in my hairline, which is really sweaty right now. And then I'll go with my little hair massager tool and just scrub my roots. I've been really working on healthy hair and long hair recently. Time check, it is currently 8.20 right now. A little bit later than I anticipated, but that's okay. I hope there's a point in me doing this right now because I'm only leaving it in for a couple minutes. It also feels really good to do this, just massage my scalp. I think I'm gonna go to a hot yoga class tomorrow after I serve my detention because I was late. So our school is honestly strict with those rules. If you're late three times, then you get a detention. Which I don't really get because might as well just not go to school. Like, if I'm not getting in trouble for not going to school, but I'm getting in trouble for being two minutes late, that makes me just want to skip the whole first period class. Hopefully this is good enough because I'm done. I am done. Done, 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 done. I'm so excited to wash my hair though. It's so gross. I'm going to let this settle on my hair for like a couple more minutes and then I'm going to hop in the shower. Okay. <coughs> I'm all out of the shower now. I have my comfy PJs on. So I'm going to be explaining some of the products I use when I get out of the shower. So first, I use my EOS body lotion. This is the best smelling lotion you will ever buy. It's just vanilla cash. It's vanilla cashmere. I just love everything like vanilla, sugary. It smells so good. 
I also just took the best everything shower. Like, I feel so clean right now. And nothing makes me feel more clean. Sorry, I. This is really a great angle for me right now. And nothing makes me feel more clean than putting on a cute PJ set after my showers. Next, I go in with my Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Oil. It just smells like the perfume, but it stays on longer and stronger. It's just very moisturizing. I'm gonna spray some of my Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume. I also currently, okay, my hair is actually slipping out of it. I currently have a microfiber towel on right now. And then I'm using the native deodorant. This is the coconut and vanilla. I just started using this deodorant a couple weeks ago and it smells really good, but I feel like I've kind of been sweating more. I don't know. I'll update you guys more. I, it could just be in my head. Now for my hair, we do have to return back to my mother's bathroom. Okay, now that we're in my mom's bathroom, the first thing I'm going to use is the Pureology Color Fanatic. Um, it's just like a leave-in conditioner, I think. I'm also using the Umbrush, except I'm pretty sure it's like a fake Umbrush. I don't know, I got it from TikTok, but it's still the same thing. I just want to spray like two squirts in my hair because I don't want my hair to feel like it has too much product in it once it's dry. Because that is a problem that I run into quite often and it is not a problem that I like. It makes me feel dirty after being clean. I also have been trying to put less heat in my hair so I think I might do heatless curls tonight. I haven't done heatless curls since like freshman year and they didn't turn out that good when I did them back then but I have a good feeling that they might be a little bit better. Next I'm going in with my K18. Oh, that's a lot. I start with the ends with this one and just work my way up. The reason why I blow dry my hair so much is because I kind of have like natural curls in my hair. Curly hair community don't come for me. Like I know my hair is not top tier curly, but it is pretty wavy, especially when it's dry. Especially if I put some curl products in it, my hair will get curly, but it's more of summer hair. Like if that makes any sense. I love my curly hair in the summer. Like I don't wear straight in the summer. I just feel like my hair does not match the vibe of winter and I've been blow drying it to feel clean. Anyways, we are leaving my mom's bathroom and transferring back to my room. Ow, that actually hurt. Like, I just don't know what I else I can do. I we have two separate underwears. You say that, but then I don't have any underwear. And you're gonna. Have I underwear. never had. I never take. How about things putting the laundry away? Like I put your laundry where you where your laundry goes. Heavy. I, it's literally not me. You just came in enraged because I didn't put underwear. You what I did. I'm I just said you're the one that. Huh? You calm down. You calm down. Get out of my room now. I Okay, now I'm going with my skincare. Now that my psycho family. Please, actually, please. First I'm going with my Azalike Acid. This is like dermatologist prescribed though. I only use this in the nighttime. And then I'm going in with some niacinamide from The Ordinary. There's like a hair on my hand or something and I don't, oh, there it is, okay. Next I'm going in with Hyaluronic Acid. Next, I'm going in with my moisturizer from Proven Skincare. This is my Gua Sha. I just got it like a couple days ago because my old one broke when I was traveling to Florida. Next, I'm going in with some Mighty Patches to cover up this bad boy and hopefully heal her. Brush out my eyebrows. Finishing it up with some Summer Fridays lip treatment. Last thing is the Grande Lash. Now I'm putting my skincare away. I don't want to do the heatless curls until my hair is like pretty much dry. So I'm going to lay in bed for a little bit and wait for my hair to dry. Okay, I'm spraying my pillow with a little bit of this sleep mist lavender spray. Okay, now that I'm in bed, I'm going to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is the book that I'm reading right now. I'm on page 285. I'm also reading an essay about this book because for our English class, we got to choose any book to read, which is such a good assignment. I love picking and choosing the books I read. I did not read into this book at all before I decided to read it. If you know the book, you know it's probably not the best book to write an essay for school about. Really wanted to incorporate more reading into my 2024 and trying to read 20 minutes every single night. So yeah, comment some book recommendations down below because I love romance novels or tragedies or hard-hitting books pretty much. Colleen Hoover. 2024 is the year of reading, okay? That's how much I have left. So I have like exactly 100 pages left. I'm also going to be putting coconut oil in my mouth and swishing it around for like 15-20 minutes while I read to do some oil pulling. It just helps with like whitening your teeth. It's like a healthy natural way to do it and it also helps with your breath and the health of your mouth and everything. I just spit out the coconut oil. 
I'm just gonna chug some water now because I just need to drink more water this year. Emily, pass the gummies. These are our calm gummies, our magnesium gummies, and we eat them every night for bed. They're good to like calm you down before you go to bed. But it's not like melatonin, it's like stress relief, anxiety relief, that type of stuff. And they're yummy, so like there are little candies before we go to bed. Just keep them. I don't want thought you wanted them, I'm sorry. Just hit me with the magnesium. Emily, it's not that big of a deal. Did it hurt? Yeah, so I thought. Time to do my heatless curls. Now that my hair is a little bit more dry, I'm pretty sure you just clip it to the top of your head and go from there. Okay, complete. See how these turn out in the morning. I'll update you. Guys, don't take this as like, oh, heatless curls suck. I just did them completely wrong. But I learned how to do them, and this is me a couple days later. As long as you look up a good TikTok tutorial like I did, you're all set and ready. Last thing I'll be doing is writing in my gratitude journal. I just recently got this. I've been writing in it every day. So it's pretty much in the morning. I write three things that I'm grateful for. What would make today great? Some daily affirmations. And at night, it's three amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made today better? Except I don't really like the how could I have made today better part because then it's like kind of downing your day. I don't know. Three amazing things that happened today. Filmed and finished a video. Had a clean and productive night. Successfully drove my dad's truck because I have not been able to do that until today okay and then tomorrow morning i'll write the morning ones and that is that that is the end of this video it is currently where is my phone oh it's currently 10 31 and i'm probably going to edit this video for a little bit or like upload all the clips from it so that i can start editing it tomorrow and yeah that's about that so thanks for watching goodbye goodbye and good night